Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. I was out this morning early on the Continental Divide here in Colorado. Very windy, wind blasted snow conditions up there. Uh, this is all out ahead of our big storm system and it is a powder day. In Jackson Hole, they got blasted with 30 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. I showed you what was coming last night on radar, and I mean, it is still coming down up there. It's going to be an outstanding day. I think you could see another foot of snow in the next 24 hours. So that would put you, you know, at uh, three feet or more. In fact, here's radar. Look what's coming. That's that band right along the frontal boundary in the jet. You can see it. The next batch of heavy snow is moving in your direction, moving through Idaho, headed towards the Tetons, snowing up in parts of central and northern Idaho, still snowing back in California along the Sierra. This whole line is going to sink to the south and is going to um, run right through the Wasatch very shortly, um, probably lunchtime today through the afternoon and night with a really heavy burst of snow. All right, let me show you what I'm thinking here this morning. My bullet points. So all of this, the storm system pushing in 50 to 80 mile an hour winds. We've got a powerful jet stream. We're delivering and pulling some of that wind energy down. So that's California. You've seen 100 mile an hour winds out there and blizzard conditions. But 50 to 80 here in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming accompanying all this snow that's on its way. Wasatch, again, your heavy snow comes in around lunch into the afternoon and nighttime. And then you've got light to moderate accumulations on 3-3 three, three, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Tetons, you've got heavy snow today, light afternoon tomorrow, and through 3-4, and then a heavy burst of snow coming in 3-5 and 3-6. What a stretch for the Tetons. Colorado heavy snow um, this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow morning. It's going to snow for a uh, it's going to snow heavy for a rather short amount of time. And then light snow on 3-4. Sierra, you're still working on that 5 to 10 feet now through the morning of 3-5. Looks like we're going to get every part of 8 to 9, 10 feet in some locations. Powder Highway, another roughly 3 to 8 inches between now and tomorrow morning. And the northeast now looks like it could get heavy snow, 3-7-3. And it looks like the temperatures will be marginal to just cold enough to produce snow on those days. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. All right, I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery. Here's our big trough, our big storm system, slowly moving down through the Sierra. And now it's going to start to pivot into the interior. And as it does, it will bring that band of heavy snow right through the Wasatch and then drop it into Colorado. Here's the latest jet forecast. And you can see the big trough and all that jet energy sliding in with the wind. There it is, 3-4. Those are the big days. 3-5. And then it starts to move away. But here comes the next storm system into California, moving into the interior. 3-7 and 3-8. Look at that trough sliding through parts of uh, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. And by the time we get into 3-9, it's moving away. Here comes the next storm system in sliding. Uh, looks like Southern California. And maybe even a storm up in the northern tier coming into uh, BC potentially. <clears throat> so maybe a storm on both branches. Okay, here's precip. So this is the forecast radar by 530. At this point, heavy snow is falling in the Tetons, the Wasatch, and it's starting to develop in the, the central and northern mountains of Colorado. You still have heavy snow in the Sierra, Idaho, and Montana. All right, here's tomorrow morning. So that heavy band of snow is sliding through Colorado. Here's tomorrow afternoon. Looks like some additional light snow sliding into the Wasatch and the Tetons. Um, snowing still in Colorado. Now here comes the next wave, the next storm system hitting the west coast, and then it moves into the interior, and it throws another heavy band of snow right over the top of the Tetons and Big Sky, Sun Valley, and parts of Idaho in snowing in Colorado. Watch what happens to this storm as it moves in. It begins to develop just a little bit more once it hits Colorado right there on 3.7 and 3.8. A little more amplification of that low pressure, and so that should enhance some of the snowfall totals, 3738 in Colorado and northern New Mexico. And then that storm moves away on Saturday morning. And then by the time we get into 310, 311, there's that storm in the northern tier, um, so we'll have to watch that. But this is a much quieter period right here, 39, 310, 311. Okay, latest grand total map that I've got. And here it is. So today through 311. So these are grand totals by late 311. We have another two, three feet, maybe four feet in the Sierra. Uh, one to two feet for the Wasatch. One to two feet for Colorado. Most of that, you could look at the big numbers in Colorado. This is going to be awesome. So we've got the initial storm system 
that'll drop a foot or more. And then another storm system, 3738, that'll drop another nice batch of snow on top of that. So we should end up with grand totals right there. And potentially another 30 inches or more of snow in the Tetons. Uh, another foot there through parts of Idaho. Okay, let me break it down by time period here. So here is, uh, here's 3-2 today through tomorrow. You can see the snow on the way. There's that that uh, foot to two foot uh, of snow in the Wasatch in a short amount of time. Again, that's midday today into the afternoon and nighttime tonight. That's going to happen fast. A foot up in the Tetons. There's your snow in Colorado. This first storm is going to deliver some great powder. Sunday tomorrow is going to be a powder day in a lot of places. Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and the Sierra. You can see the snowfall elsewhere. Okay, let's go 3-4 through 3-6. So that Next storm system comes in from the west coast, pushes that heavy, that heavy band of snow right over the top of the Tetons. You can pick up a foot and a half of snow out of that alone. Okay, final time period, 3-7 through 3-11. So there's the end of the storm system that's moving through Colorado, 3-7 and 3-8, with potentially another 4 to 10 inches of accumulation. And then by the time we get into 3-10, 3-11, most of the snow that's falling is up in the Pacific Northwest and B.C. All right, let's go to the northeast. Things have shifted here. It does look like it's going to be cold enough for snow on 3-7 and 3-8. And if that happens, then we could see a foot or two of snow here. This is probably an extreme case. Uh, my optimism shining through. Um, but if things line up perfectly, that's the kind of snow I think we could get between 3-7 and 3-8. If it's too warm, obviously, that cuts down on totals. Okay, let me go back and show you. We'll end on the grand total map. And again, anywhere in purple's over a foot. There's a lot of snow yet to accumulate between uh, today and probably 3-7 and 3-8. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here and have a great weekend.